This chapel brings back some old memories. How? Your first time at the Abbey was when Peter and I brought you here. True. It's just this place reminds me of the church where we fought Dracula. I know what you mean. I find places like this calming. Oh, I wish I felt the same. For me, they conjure up sorrow and anger. What happened exactly? Remember how I told you I used to be a reporter? Yes, like Peter. I'm nothing like Parker. That boy exploited his heroism to make cash taking blurry photos. I was a journalist. I wanted to mix it up on the streets, uncover the types of corruption that exploits the little guy, speak truth to power and all that jazz. That is very noble, Eddie. You seem destined to become a great hero. I appreciate that. Maybe you're right. Unfortunately, at some point, I lost my way. Cut a few corners with an important story, didn't double-check my sources, and ended up embarrassing myself publicly. I lost my job. That sounds hard, Eddie. After my father disowned me, I ended up at a church that looked a bit like this chapel. Looking for a new start? Looking to end it all, actually. But that's when I was saved by a higher power. Is that when you... changed your clothes? Yes. I didn't know it at the time, but Spider-Man had just rejected the suit. We'd use the church bells to drive it off. Both of us were feeling hurt and abandoned. We both needed each other. On that day, the symbiote and I united. And we vowed to become something better. A lethal protector who safeguarded innocence. On that day, we became Venom. I heard you also tried to murder Spider-Man. Eh, trust me, he had it coming. You wanted to talk? When you put it that way, it makes it sound like I'm in trouble. And not the fun kind. Did you do something? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Open up those ear holes. Deadpool's gonna tell a story. Once upon a time, there was a handsome Merc who had friends and family that loved him. But chaos and destruction followed him wherever he went, and it ended up hurting the people he cared about most. He waved goodbye and peaced out to live a life of solitude. The end. I'm still workshopping it, but I think it could be made into a movie. I'm sorry, Deadpool. I had no idea. Yeah, well, I don't like spilling my guts. Literally or figuratively. I appreciate you sharing this with me. Nah, I figured you should know about some of the skeletons in my closet. But shh, some of them aren't ready to come out yet. Do you feel better now that you have told me? Nah, give me three to five business days and I'll get back to you. You put too much pressure on yourself. Duh, don't you? A little pressure is healthy. It keeps me sharp. Well, I hope it never breaks your back. Seriously, of all the ways to go, a snapped spine gives me the ick just thinking about it. You continue to deflect me with humor. Psh, when have I ever? Now you know my sob story. No more mushy-gushy talk, all right? Hello, my sweet girl. Is 
Is this another movie night? And if so, where is Nico? It's not an official movie night. It's more of my way of saying thank you for being a friend. I didn't have many growing up. Wasn't exactly the popular kid, if you know what I mean. Me either. Let me guess. People were afraid of you. That yeah, goes with the whole hunting and killing demons line of work. Most people find it off-putting. You save people's lives, and they repay you with fear. Typical. Well, they were scared of what I had to do to protect them. More specifically, what I was capable of doing. Did it bother you, being feared? Not at all. Well, it bothered me. Made my life hell. In Transia, it was just me and my brother Pietro for a long while. We wandered from village to village, begging, doing odd jobs, scrounging by any way we could. Tough times make us tougher. And they break you in ways you don't always understand until much later. I wish living in utter squalor was as bad as it got. But it was better than how we got there. Oh? When I was a child, Transia was very poor. Our parents could find no work. One day, my father stole bread to feed us. A mob chased him into our neighborhood. I was terrified for him. I told them to stop, and half of them turned to stone. I didn't mean to. I didn't understand my powers or how to use them, but I got scared, and people died. But the worst of it... Father pointed at me and cried out, Witch. And then he was part of the mob, and they were after me. Pietro grabbed me and ran, faster than any person can run. We realized we could never go back. We were different, and had to look out for ourselves. I am so sorry. That must have been terrifying. I thought I was going to be hanged or burned alive for the longest time. And for a while, I thought I deserved it. Oh, Wanda. I felt like my life was cursed with misfortune, heartache, and pain ever since. It wasn't until recently that I began to feel that curse lift. What changed? You. I met you, and you saved me. So, thank you for being a friend. Didn't know how much I needed one like you. How's it? You're the oldest American at the Abbey, isn't that right? I was born here, yes, but last I recall, this land was British colonies. Wow. So you missed the birth of our country. The notion of a free land was not a popular idea outside of late nights at taverns. Being a piece of American history myself, I'm kind of a buff about our history. Do you remember any big news from your time? The East and West Jersey stopped warring. It was quite a big deal as they quibbled over borders for years. There were two Jerseys? The Queen finally forced them to reconcile and join as one new Jersey. Smart call, Queen Anne. Two Jerseys is way too much Jersey. <laughs> it ruined all of my aunt's maps. I suspect the border squabbles were a ploy to keep map makers employed. We were all pawns to big cartography money. Hmm. Now that I think of it, I don't recall meeting any Avengers from New Jersey. Hunter, your stories fascinate me. You brushed elbows with history. It is the past. None of it matters if we do not stop Lilith. Of course. Thank you for giving me a distraction, Hunter. I feel like I know you so much better now. 
Need a pick me up? The science is a bit hard to follow. Best if I don't explain it. We could all be taking better care of ourselves. Exactly what I was thinking. No rush. I'm functionally immortal. Not that I want to test that. What the? Oh, just you. And so I said, Get your hand off that lady's purse or I'll eat your spleen. That is one way to take care of a situation. What happened next? Well, I went home hungry that night. Threatening to eat an organ is an interesting ruse. I respect your tactics. What do you mean, ruse? I was hungry. You actually wanted to eat this person? Now, don't worry, I've changed. But you don't get teeth like mine by chomping on salads all day. Is it hard to have a symbiote constantly affecting your emotions? Actually, my symbiote often keeps me grounded. Its emotions certainly influence mine but it never makes me do anything I don't want. So the symbiote is not forcing you to eat people's spleens? I'll try anything once, as long as it's not an olive. <laughs> Seriously, I hate olives. It doesn't like to show it, but even the symbiote had fun. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Okay, who the freak ate my ramen? I can't believe someone would do this to me. Do what? Someone ate my ramen, dude. I even made the perfect egg to go on top of it, too. It was so beautiful, I almost cried. A vegan egg? Yep, so scrumptious. And now the thief who took it will pay. You got that right. After all the chili oil I added to it, pretty sure their face would be on fire right now. Like Robbie's? Oh, you don't think he took it, do you? I do not know. It was just a guess. Look, I don't mind sharing my love for ramen with people. Hell, I'd be happy to make it for anyone who asked. But stealing it from me after I slaved away making a bowl of it? Oh, only a monster would do that. I understand. I hope you find who did this. Oh, I will. All I have to do is follow the sound of someone coughing their guts up. That chili oil is demonic.
You have not set anything on fire today, have you? Sup, Ancient One? very tired. If you insist. It's good to have you around, Hunter. You don't treat me like some of the others. How so? America didn't exist in your time. With you, I get to be Steve from Brooklyn. Just a guy with a shield. We are all in this fight together. Why would we not treat each other as equals? And I appreciate it. I hope you know that. You have your own legend to deal with. That expectation must give you some trouble. It can be hard to live up to what everyone thinks I am. Then don't. Live up to your ideals. Everything else will fall into place. Like it or not, your words and actions carry a lot of weight. Don't lose sight of that. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to lecture. Let's get back to it. Can't wait till next time. Did you have any friends back before you were, you know, encased in a tomb? A few. Why do you ask? Nah, just thinking about my time with the runaways. You ever miss people from your past? I do. Are you talking about Agatha? Among others. Makes sense. Uh, sorry, stupid question. It is not stupid. Are you missing someone? Yeah, a good friend of mine. We kind of had a thing for each other, but it didn't work out. Still miss them, though. What happened to them? We went our separate ways. It Felt like the right thing to do at the time, even if it hurt. I understand. Losing a friend to circumstance is never easy. That's putting it lightly. I knew you'd get it. Feeling nostalgic sucks sometimes. It will pass. Can it pass any faster? My brain needs to focus on other stuff today. You really know your way around a workbench. Oh, thanks. I also make an amazing grilled cheese. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? It's not just the Southwest. Look. A rise of Hydra movement in Eastern Europe. Are you seeing... Holy! Disturbance in the Force! Not too holy from the feel of it. Quite the reverse. Whoa! Wake up, kid. If you're getting this, well... We gotta have us a little conversation. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. I'm listening. In person. Here, at the Mesa. I need your pit crew too. Counting on you to bring them. So don't screw it up. I think 
Blaze is feeling bad about blowing me off earlier. I do not think Blaze feels much of anything. Do you think Blaze wants to apologize? Uh, doubt it. What do you mean something is up with Limbo? More soulless? A little more detail would be appreciated. It's all the detail I can give. But do not worry. I'll stay behind and figure out what's going on. Please do. And next time you sense some kind of danger with Limbo, come talk to me about it first. Korasho Bumir. What did you just say? Ahem. <clears throat> just tell the team I will be watching over them. Always on the hunt, right? Nothing to be scared of. I will be right here, looking out for everyone. Here, Blaze out, but don't agree to anything. Most importantly, get that page. That rocks. Time for this story to end. One way or another. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. Just like you said. And your crew. Good. Because I got us a plan. You want to stop that nasty mama of yours? Stick with me. And keep your traps shut. Who in the Ten Hells do you think you are? Ten? I'm the guy with the answer to your prophecy problem. Damn! We good now. After you. What the hell? Worse. Limbo. Oh, crap. Is that... Mephisto. Johnny Blaze. You've made it. I'm impressed. Wait, what? You're doing the right thing. Can't have that hunter of yours running around off-leash, can we? He's leaving you in good hands. Well, not good. <laughs> you understand. Okay. I get it. Actually, I don't. What's the plan here? Hunter's written all over that page, kid. Further we keep him from the Midnight Sun, the better. And this place... is further as it gets. So, what? You, you dump him off in hell with the freaking devil? Limbo with Mephisto. There's a difference. You do realize I can hear everything. Bastard wants Kathan back less than we do. Count on that. Coward. You two deserve each other. Hate me all you want when we get home, kid. But it's the only option. I'm not going anywhere with you. He's got a point, Johnny. Our arrangement was for you. Don't get cute with me, Yapi. Oh, I'd love to see the look on his face when he gets back. But, first things first. Let's see if you're worth all the fuss, shall we? Mind a little diversion. I promise it won't be any worse than what Lilith had planned for you. But here we are. Here you are, child of the blood. Hell's greatest imposter. Always too cowardly to face me himself. Your time will come, Ryder. But today, my interests lie elsewhere. <laughs> Judgment upon yourself. Prepare your 
I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. An eternity of suffering awaits. Your fate is sealed. You were too weak for this fight. Their time is short. The darkness builds within you, Hunter. But here come their friends. Though I had heard your little team was making trouble up there for Lilith. You haven't seen anything yet, but your time will come. None can escape. You deserve that. Lilith has damned you to hell. Your time has come. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Return to your mother. That's the last of them. But stay on your toes. Already your efforts send shockwaves across the multiverse, Hunter. Your mother will be so proud. I am just getting started. Good. So am I. Usurper! You forget. You are not the ruler of Limbo. I am! Iliana, nicely done. You always were so... gifted. So gifted, you stole me from my parents. Twisted me into a living weapon until I cast you from this very realm? I mean... yes. This is starting to sound familiar. I have reopened Blaze's portal. As well as a few others. Leave. Now. Mephisto and I have some catching up to do. Ah. A minor inconvenience. Lost you, child. I am pleased you. The page! He carries the page. Retrieve it for me! Come and get it. 